What's going on everybody? It's your boy Baby Stuff back at it again bringing you a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the 83 rated Senegalese Bowder Jow. Now, this player is actually relatively interesting. You may be thinking, why on earth would you want to review this guy? His stats look terrible, but his stats on the face card don't look too bad. He could potentially be a cheap beast, but also has the potential to link to Neymar and Bappe. But if you play this guy up front with his Senegalese link, he also can link to Mane. So that's an interesting uh, possibility that you could be bringing in a Premier League influence, a Premier League good player into your otherwise hybrid team. So taking a look at his actual in-game stats, obviously he has 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. That looks actually very good. Um, he has pretty poor attack position in 82, 83 finishing, 83 shot power, 78 long shots. Them stats look pretty bad to me uh, in terms of this stage in FIFA. But obviously there's other cards on this game that have stats similar to that and finish absolutely everything. So that might not be a problem. Um, his agility 85, balance 82, reactions 80, ball control 90. Not the best there. Um, ball control at 90 is pretty good, dribbling at 88 is pretty good. But his overall agility and balance, you'd like that to be a little bit higher considering he is 6 foot 2. Um, and his strength is at 79, now plus 1 boosted to 80. So potentially this card may be able to body some people um, and that might make up for the lack of agility and balance. But let's see how he feels in games, see how we get on with him. Is this guy going to be a fraud or is he going to be a potential monster? Let's get into the clips and find out how we got on. Okay, first things first guys, the pros. Now, this guy's quick. Let me tell you, this, 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 this guy can run a little bit. Uh, this guy's fast. Uh, his stats are not a lie that he does feel quick in game and that is a good thing to see because sometimes players will be very pacey on their face stat cards but you get in game and it literally looks like they've lost their legs and they can't move. Um, he's 4 star, 4 star, he's unpredictable, you know, he can go to the left, he can go to the right shooting wise, he can do a few skills, he's going to be getting in the opponent's heads. Um, so yeah, 4 star, 4 star, obviously it's always a benefit, uh, it gives your opponent something to think about and it makes you less predictable on the attack. Now, his biggest pro that I saw when using him was his attacking runs. Now, this guy loved to get in behind, loved to press the back line, loved to try and just get them balls in over the top and run onto them. Now, I didn't have any instructions on this card whatsoever, and he was always making these runs for me. So, if you like a card that likes to get in behind and burst in behind, this might be the guy for you because he was very, very good at doing that. Now, another strength that the card actually had was his dribbling. Now, I actually did think looking at his face stats and card stats in the game that he wouldn't be that good, but he's dribbling was actually pretty decent he was able to dribble through a few plus huh. he was able to dribble through a few players um, and use a few skill moves to navigate you know them tight defenses and break the deadlock and get some goals for me so yeah definitely his dribbling was a pro now moving on to his cons and sadly there was a lot of them he's finishing my god this guy in the box very inconsistent uh, very inconsistent not insanely bad but just pretty inconsistent in the box so you are gonna have to take that into consideration obviously he does have 83 finishing so that's probably why now his biggest negative for me had to have been his long shots his finishing was bad inside the box but if you even got to like towards the edge of the box you're not gonna be putting the ball in the back of the net you're even gonna be struggling to get the ball on target now I'm not lying this guy's long shots were really bad outside the box he was struggling to even get the ball on target to challenge the keeper uh, so that's something again you're seriously gonna have to bear in mind uh, this wasn't on his weak foot even this on his strong foot his long shots were pretty bad, uh, very inconsistent. So I think I scored maybe one with him, or I had a finesse that hit off both posts, but again, that still doesn't count as being on target. But most of the shots I took with him did go wide. And then another negative sadly had to be his overall positioning. Now, for the most part, his attacking runs were very good, but when he wasn't making them attacking runs, this guy was drifting over to the right, drifting over to the left. Bearing in mind, I don't have any instructions on my players to do anything here. This is what his natural movement was like. He was drifting all over the place. He was dropping back lots, which I thought was very strange considering he has high, low work rates. So yeah, overall, his positioning was very sketchy for me. Obviously, he does have quite low attacking positioning in game. That's probably why. And sadly, he does play like that. Now, overall for this card, I think that he's decent. Maybe a substitute, I would say. Um, if you're obviously very low on coins and you're building a cheap team and you've got, you know, League of One players, maybe you could utilise this guy uh, 100%. But I'd recommend him mainly as an impact sub uh, because of his pace. I would not recommend taking this guy into League and League weekend league starting um, unless you're obviously building a Senegalese team or you're trying to get Sadio Mane into that team but obviously you just sub him off if you did so that's been my review on Kate about a Jow please consider leaving me a like on the video consider commenting and please consider subscribing if you want to see more FIFA content I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and have a great day